Uh, today, I'm going to teach you uh, about how to add the featured item or the featured flag in essential grid items for business or listings. All right, so let's start. First of all, we need to visit the essential grid skin editor. Now, actually, it depends on which skin you're using, but uh, any skin, for any skin, or even if you're creating your own skin from scratch, it's absolutely the same thing. So, uh, what we're gonna edit now is our our skin that we're using. All right. So let's go edit skin. The, the this skin is the skin we're using right here. So as you see now, uh, let me just delete this. It shouldn't be here. <laughs> I was trying it before before I uh, capture this video. So. Uh, Let's choose a new item. Uh, sorry, let's try that again. It's somehow tricky. Okay, so let's choose a new item and drop it in here. But it didn't appear. Let's try again. Okay, that's it. So actually, you can choose any one of those doesn't matter you can choose whatever you like by the way there are items here but they're hidden because they're white as you see anyway so now now let's save the item the item skin and if we refresh the home page Uh, we see that it's appearing right now, but actually it's appearing on hover. Maybe I need it without the hover thing. So I make sure I check the layer settings, check it out in the show hide. I choose show without hover on desktop. Let's try that again. should now appear without hovering over the element and it worked now we need to check the source the source shouldn't be check it out there's a small click right here which shows you the meta key handlers that are available for you so you can Choose post ID, post URL, a lot of options. But as for YZ, there are like some specific options right here, like for ratings, for stickiness, favorites, listing category icons, YZ listing logo, etc. What we need for this tutorial is listing sticky, which actually tells you whether this post, each post, or each item or each listing is featured or not. So let's save it. And most probably we're not gonna see anything here. What we should do first, we should make sure that we have a couple of listings that, uh, that are actually featured. Let's uh, let's check this for example let's make it sticky and uh, outbound let's make it sticky too all right so if you refresh now the page great now I see featured featured and it's not featured it's not featured now as you see that there's this ugly red dot so Let's fix it. Let's go back to item skin editor for the essential grid. Again, you can choose 
from many essential grail elements. And let's make sure from style, background, that the background is empty. Let's save this. So now it has no background. Refresh. And that's it. Oh, we, we, we still have the hover over effect. We, we can also fix this again from, from styling, but the hover thing from background. Again, clearing the background. Let's save it. Again, let's refresh. And that's it. It's now working. Wherever the, the, the build this is featured, it should show you this feature. Now, as for its style, you can actually change its styles from your custom CSS or from the CSS here, custom editor CSS. But I, I won't recommend this editor because it changes a lot in each update. What I recommend is to put your CSS in YZ options and then go to custom CSS, place your custom CSS here. So probably maybe you need to change its background color. So that's, that's what we need to do. Let's do an example. Maybe I need it red. Okay, good feature. Now all, all what I need to do is copy this and let's place the code right here. So all I need to change is the background color into my new color and just put important so they don't overlap. Okay, let's refresh. It should stay. Uh, something wrong happened. Uh, oh, forgot point here. <laughs> Sorry. So when you write custom CSS, you need to, to, to start a class with a point, as things might be messy. So that's it. Now, now my, my the background is red. What, what if I want to change the font? Font is controlled again from essential grid item editor. Let's go back there. Okay, uh, let's add it again. Uh, we make sure that we, we, we select this layer and then from the size you can actually choose the font size. Let's make it somehow big so we can see the difference. You, you can control the font. You can control how it's written. Almost like everything. <laughs> I know it's ugly, <laughs> but I'm just trying to present the idea that you can uh, control the details of it. All right, then let's say you, you, you want to move it left, right, etc. Uh, you, you can always change its, you can play with the settings of uh, show hide, where to show it, whether to show it on mobile or not. And then you can uh, check the transition, uh, how, how, how does it appear when the page loads. And few, a lot of options exist here, you can change them as you like. And uh, I hope uh, this explains how to input the featured part in Essential Grid.
and hopefully in next in the next few versions we should implement it by default for uh, for for demos for people who are importing the demos thank you so much hope you enjoyed this small tutorial bye bye